I have here a letter postmarked 1967 from a concerned member of the public to one of the local emergency services at that time. Now, I want to read this letter to you, but I don't want to name any names or where indeed this letter is from. Too much time has passed for that to be of any use. And indeed, it's not the point of this message. I want you to hear the words in this letter and think what you would do if you were to receive a concerned message from a stranger. How could you take that message to make your service and your buildings safer than they currently are? See what you think. Dear Sir, Following a visit to the cinema this evening, I was prevented from leaving by the exits at the rear of the cinema by an attendant who told me that nobody even used those exits and in fact they were kept always securely locked. Perhaps she was not speaking the truth, but if she was, it means that there are only two narrow entrances at the front of the cinema which must seat nearly a thousand people. Further, since most of the offices appear to be at the front of the cinema, then I would imagine this would be where a fire is likely to burn most strongly, thus blocking the only exits. Please forgive this intrusion into your affairs, but I felt that such a dangerous situation should not continue and could be rectified by a word from your office. I remain yours sincerely. So that's a message from someone simply looking to enjoy an evening in the cinema and looking to get the help of their local services to make that entertainment experience more enjoyable, safer and less likely to be the seat of a horrible accident. Now I said that this particular letter was postmarked 1967 and in fact almost 40 years prior to this letter there had been an incident in the same city at a different cinema where a fire was called, there was no fire but that didn't matter, the panic that was set off in that particular cinema caused a rush for narrow exits. Narrow exits very similar to what this letter describes. And that panic and rush for those narrow exits cost the lives of over 70 people that evening. So there are two things to take away here. Not just whether or not you would heed the message of a concerned member of your public, but whether or not you can remember the lessons of the past. We can often refer to this in companies as corporate amnesia, where accidents of a generation ago might have been forgotten by an ever-changing workforce. So I leave you now with those two messages. How could you listen to the messages of your concerned public? And how can you integrate the lessons of the past into making your place safer for the future? Thank you very much.